Ah, oh, here we go. Bald. Beautiful. Headshot. Glamour. Mini horse. Still bald. Still beautiful. Richard Jefferson and Kendrick Perkins starring in The Bald and the Beautiful. Okay, cool. Don't, don't sass me. <laughs> I don't get sassy. Sass me. <laughs> I don't this like it. This is a high bar. This I don't might like be my it. favorite thing we've yeah. done on the show. I don't like it. <laughs> I love, look, first of all, this beautiful bald head of mine, yes, but it's like. I'm just upset that you're bald. And that's, that, uh, exactly yeah, I, I feel like the terminology is wrong. It should be the bald and the beautiful or and the beauty should... and the beast. I think that would have been better. <laughs> oh, that's insulting? No, he was just mad because, I mean, like, when you put up those pictures, it was mm -hmm. night and day. Mm -hmm. It was night and day. Rachel was obviously. Is that, is that because like, I'm when you look at When you look at it, it's like, man. Perky's a handsome young man. He's a dime, but when he get a haircut, he's a leather. I hate this man. <laughs> I hate this man. I can so never fully right right so express never fully express to so you. And by the way, the line in the middle there, mini horses. Yes. It's <laughs> incredible. I'm going to need to watch that like eight more times in the mm -hmm. next hour. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the Jumps regular season awards. We've been doing these all week because the ballots for NBA voting are in. And this time I want to look at Coach of the Year. Some news on the coaching front. Monty Williams voted Coach of the Year by the Coaches Association yesterday. Scott Brooks, Mike Malone, Nate McMillan, Doc Rivers, Quinn Snyder, and Tom Thibodeau were the others to receive votes. Now, how often do the coaches align with the official NBA award, which is voted on by the media? Well, in three of the four previous seasons, the votes did match. Last season was actually the exception there, if you take a look. D'Antoni and Spolstra, D'Antoni, Casey Casey, Budenholzer, Budenholzer. But last year, Nick Nurse won the official award from the NBA, Budenholzer and Donovan split from the coaches. So, Park, given that, who is your choice for Coach of the Year? Oh, Rachel, this is a tough one, right? Because so many coaches are well deserving of this. You got Monty Williams, Tom Thibodeau. Just Doc give us Rivers. your answer. Stop. You cannot interrupt when you're late to the set, okay? Let me finish. All right, but I'm going with Quinn <laughs> okay, Snyder. I'm going with Quinn Snyder, Rachel, for the simple fact that what he's done with this Utah Jazz team, mm -hmm. and you watch them play inspiring basketball on both ends of the floor, and I look at their defense, right? And you could tell a team that's well coached and that is bought in by the way that they defend. And when Donovan Mitchell went out, I was like, uh-oh, Utah is about to drop. They didn't. They went 13-6 and six without Donovan Mitchell and mm -hmm. still has the best record in the NBA. So Quinn Snyder has never won it. I, be I believe he deserves to win it this year, and he's my coach of the year. Mm. Yes? There's one answer to this. There's one answer to this, and I, I know Knicks fans are going to go crazy, but it is Coach Tom Thibodeau. He is the one answer. The Knicks haven't been to the postseason in 97 years. <laughs> they have an all-star. He got the most out of Julius Randle, right? Like, and that's what makes it so special. Is like He turned him into an all-NBA player. Now, he put in the work. He did everything, but you put a system around him. You gave him everything that he needed. You added vets around him when you added Todd Gibson and you added Derrick Rose. That, to me, is the best coach performance if someone would have told you and it's been especially because of COVID that the Utah Jazz were going to have a great season that the Phoenix Suns when you add Chris Paul who a lot of people want to give the MVP and you look at Chris Paul's in percentage increase on every single team that he's ever been on not trying to take anything away from Monty Williams but is all of this jump because of Monty Williams no but in the Nick place there is no other coach that you can look at that they had no success their roster isn't that crazy or it hasn't changed a bunch they didn't get Chris Paul they didn't get anything like that and they vaulted themselves into relevancy like the Knicks haven't been in a long time that is truly the only answer well look I had a really hard time when I was voting for this I mean it, it's the slimmest of margins these are great candidates and and none of these answers are wrong frankly and by the way being one of the top one or two coaches in the league that's good. Um, I narrowly gave it to Tibbs yeah. just because his, no, here's the reason. His fingerprints are so all over that team. But if you if your criteria, Richard Jefferson, is the Knicks haven't been in the playoffs in 97 years, guess who is getting uh, over on the longer playoff drought than the Knicks? 
that would be your Phoenix Suns. Yeah, yeah, but that's that's. So you look, like, I'm not yeah, worried yeah, about that. I'm not worried about. I'm not worried about that invalid. part. Like, only pay attention to a third of what I say. But okay. that, that's that's really it. And here it is, right? I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at the Tom Thibodeau choice. But yep. uh, he was he was second on my list. Mm -hmm. But I'm just saying we can't let what Quinn Snyder is doing fly under the radar. Oh, like no. they they have the best record in the, in the NBA. Not NBA. Even just in the West. And, and look, no one thought at the beginning of the season that when the season started that the Utah Jazz would have the best record in the league and be the number one team in the Western Conference. Did you think that? I'm asking. I, I know for sure that if someone would have told you that, you would have been like, okay, they had a great season, especially with the injuries, because if it wasn't for the injuries to a ton of players, they might not have been in that position. They had one of the least amount of starting lineup changes. That means they had more health than any other team in this league, which is a big, big piece of it. So I think I'm saying it's fine. No one cares. <laughs> I care, Richard. Thank you. Deeply. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.